Five's Brianna Hollis is live tonight. She has been a busy Bree trying to get answers for you. <laughs> Yeah, no, that is right. We tracked this all down and we found out it was actually a Loxley based beekeeping company that put the box there. Here's that picture that generated all this buzz. It's just an ordinary looking box next to a picture saying caution live bee removal. Well, we caught up with those beekeepers today to see what was up. You can hear it in Brandon Hargrave's voice. He loves bees. So it's really neat. It's really creative um, industry and I'm full time at it now. He owns Bees Bees in Loxley and he's the one responsible for leaving this box and sign in Monica French's front yard in Quail Creek. A box that removes bees? <laughs> and Not something I'm really familiar with. Well, Hargraves tells us someone else in the neighborhood called in about a swarm they saw. It was a swarm of bees hanging from a bush. So I go out there, normally with the swarm of bees, they have full bellies of honey. They're kind of lethargic, okay. drunkish. They're just looking for a home. They have scouts out, hundreds of scouts looking to find a home. In comes the now infamous bee box. Laid them a nice clean fabric and I shook them and I left my box right there and I have a box with everything that they need in there and they marched in. So what exactly is inside? Inside the box. We have a combination of these. These are different combs. They help give the bees foundation to build their own honeycomb so they can safely be relocated. And Hargraves hopes this new buzz will get others to think twice before they swat. Before you spray and kill bees or do anything and panic, you know, Google bee extractors. And this company doesn't just extract bees, they also safely make a bunch of different products so they sell anything from honey to beeswax based skincare items. Reporting on the Eastern Shore, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Yes, yeah, suddenly have a craving for honey. Thank you, Bree. <laughs>